Hello, everyone. It's Kat. And it's like 1 a.m. I can't sleep. And it's got all these thoughts going around my mind. Making more connections and... <laughs> connecting more dots. Finding out more stuff about a weenie. The ween. The jolly ween giant. I was thinking it's probably this huge uh, member that he has. It's probably no in proportion to his body. So maybe in comparison to smaller guys, shorter guys, yeah, it's going to look big. But how about you know, guys that are normal are, are probably bigger than a seven-year-old, right? I mean, come on, look at the relationship there. He He's just in his own mind. He's full of it. So there's just a bunch of things that are making sense now that I didn't understand. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you later. I'm going to... I'm going to have to film my, on my laptop, the, the Zillow ad showing his address and everything. It's, it says public right there. It says it's public. It's public domain. Anybody can see this. But I want you to see what he's calling living in a 600 square foot barn. The smallest barn is 882 square feet, but the whole property is 2,500 square feet, not counting <clears throat> the cabin and actually another room off of that that can be used as a den or a, another bedroom or something. He had, he had a lot of extra space. I wasn't asking for anything special and I offered to pay. I offered to use my Section 8, which would pay up to $1,500 that he could have collected on. <clears throat> but he would not answer any of my letters. And I sent him a book, The Anastasia, Ringing Cedars of Russia the first book of the series and in it my I had an old picture from when I was about eight maybe nine at the most I don't know my dad's name and then this picture of my sister and brother when they so they would have been like um my sister would have been six or seven, and my brother would have been about five. And uh, I had, it's a black and white picture that was taped inside the flap of the book. And he doesn't even have the dignity to return that to me, and I asked him to. I said, you could keep the book, I'll get another one. My daughter gave me that series for Mother's Day. And I gave up the first book book to that asshole and speaking of assholes I'm starting to get that he probably is bisexual or at the very least has had sex with men in the past and I'm guessing that he probably had sex with the priests when he was an altar boy in the Catholic school because they all do that's why they're there those pedophilic priests, <laughs> altar boys. Now he's a big soy boy. Too many wafers there, eh? A ween? A weenie? No wonder he talks about weens all the time. Dicks and penises and all that shit. He's a big dick, all right. Well, anyway, my toe is feeling better since I got out of the cold. So thank everyone for their concern. 
and uh, those are trying to help me get a GoFundMe page or whatever it is. I don't know how to do these things, so <sighs> hopefully I, I can get that set up and accept your gifts. I'm not e-begging, but I will take your gifts. Or if you want to write me, you can send it to Cat Rain at General Delivery, Sandpoint, Idaho, 83864. I had the same post office as Owen. Of course I'm going to run into him there. People saying I'm stalking him. He was behind me. So who's stalking who? And I t turned to him and, like, put my hands up like a prayer, like say, please talk to me, Owen. And he just shook his head. No, no. He didn't say a word. He just shook his head. I should have yelled out, then you're banned for life. Or just started <laughs> insulting him and shit right in the post office. Next time I will if it happens. But I'm not in sand point right now, and I'm debating whether I should go back or not. I, should, I don't know if I should go. I'm like 50-some miles up outside of there. I'm in Coeur d'Alene, still in Idaho. But I don't like the energy around here. It's all these celebrity types and rich people who think they're holier than thou and better than us, you, me. I don't know, but it's just it's creepy here. In the, I mean, it's probably creepy everywhere the way people are acting. They're all under the spell. And then they treat you with their false sense of power on their job. <clears throat> they wouldn't talk to me if it was out in the dark street. <laughs> I know they wouldn't if they didn't have a fucking corporation backing them up. Fucking cowards can't talk to me. Like, they abuse people with this bullshit. They call and scream at you. They could ask nicely. Attract more with honey than vinegar. And I'm the bee. I'm the queen bee. My honey trumps his gravy. His peasant gravy. He ain't no fucking farmer. He's full of it. I think he's, that's just a created image for him. I want to go out and see these, this farm and see how far he's got with it, if he's really doing anything. I don't think he's working as hard as he says he is. His hands don't reflect it. He doesn't have farmer hands. Farmers have, like, calloused hands with ground in dirt. Look how his soy boy hands are so feminine and clean. Huh? And Amy, I don't think Amy's so innocent in all this. She's compliant in this somehow. I know it. I think they both have internet addictions. And, um... I'll just leave it at that, among other addictions. And uh, I'll be looking further into this. I'm getting a lot of, uh, people are sending me a lot of good information. And I'll use my own discernment. That's why I haven't said anything sooner. I don't just jump at something. I let it go by, and I let it go by, and make sure that I am pretty right on with what I say. I do not want to mislead people, and I will not lie, and I will correct myself if I find I've said something that's incorrect. But I was just thinking about how Owen thinks he's so fucking funny. <laughs> he ain't that funny in his own mind. Do you ever listen to his streams where he just listens to his own self and keeps laughing at, at his own jokes? And then repeats it and goes, let's listen to that again. And then he's still laughing at his own jokes. Then we've got to listen to it yet a third time, another time. Come on. It reminds me of Kanye <laughs> sitting there listening to his own music <laughs> with headphones on, just, just like so into himself. Wow. Ain't I crazy? Oh, my God. I'm probably a pretty good entertainer myself. I know it. Me and my brother that died, who had did have the same father, I believe. Um, Wally. 
It's my brother Chris, he died at 20, 23 on his motorcycle. He wiped out in Texas when he went there. I really miss him. He was the closest sibling relative I had. And he got taken out, so whatever. But um, I just uh, I thought I would throw some of that out there. And um, also, I need to go in and put uh, age restriction on my videos so I don't keep getting strikes here. I don't know what they're doing, but the main thing I want to talk about is the nano poisoning, guys. Be aware of it. Nobody knows about it. You don't hear Owen talking about it or so few people know about this, what's going on. And uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Blessings all.